Creepy Guys on the Dance Floor by Josh Sunquist. First of all, I know there's been a lot of debate about Big Bird's gender and Ernie's gender preferences, but today we're going to assume that Big Bird is a girl and Ernie is a guy who likes girls. So we've got this guy and a girl at a club or a party or whatever, and they're getting their dance on. And let's say this guy wants to dance with this girl. What does he do? Well, first let me tell you what he does not do. He does not tap her on the shoulder and introduce himself or ask her what her name is and shake her hand. No, he simply comes up and basically starts violating her from behind. A dance move otherwise known as grinding. Now, this puts the girl in an uncomfortable position, literally and figuratively. For one thing, because he's behind her, she can't even see the guy. For all she knows, he might be some homeless guy who lives in a trash can or a weirdo who wears a cape and has creepy facial hair. Oh, and interesting side note, 100% of guys look creepy with a mustache. For example, here is me normally, and here is me with a mustache. Like I said. Anyway, this is why a girl always brings her BFF to the dance floor. At this point, the girl will look at her BFF, and the BFF will either nod her head slightly, which is the hot guy signal, or shake her head slightly, which is the creepy guy signal. Now, guys, if you are ever dancing with a girl and you see her BFF give the creepy guy signal, you need to get out of there, abort, retreat, go home, because if you don't, you are gonna suffer total humiliation. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. First, an army of girls is going to drop out of the ceiling. Then, they are going to grab the girl by her wrists and yank her away from you. And then, they will surround the girl, forming an impenetrable fortress that will remain in place until you walk away in shame and humiliation. And the moral of the story is, don't be a creepy guy. You are giving the rest of us a bad name.